Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD tutorial and let's make this 2D drawing in this tutorial. So, I'll start with a line and I'll make a line of length 3 units first. Okay, go ahead and make a line of length 3 units. Now let's go to the circle tool and make a circle with the radius of 2.5 units. That is the circle which one is indicated in the drawing here. Go to circle again and this time select this midpoint of line 3 unit and make a circle something like this connecting the end point. Go to line tool again and make a straight line of any length. Just make sure it's up to this length which I am showing on the screen. Now on the polar tracking select 45 degrees just right click on polar track and select 45 degrees and you'll find a tracking vector. Make a line like this from the midpoint select offset and make offset of 2.3 as I've shown there select this line and click on that side so here is the offset of 2.3 un units now let's go to the line tool again and make a complete line of length 6.37 units the line that I'm showing on the, this drawing here on the right side of a drawing you can see that line Okay, now let's trim some of the extra portions using trim tool and I think this part is also not required so let's go and trim this also. Okay, that's good. Now I'll go and make this arc of length 0.77 unit, the radius 0.77 units. So for that go to arc tool and from this arc tool I'll select start and end radius this one so select it and on O snap turn it off click on this point anywhere you don't need to be precise just click anywhere on this then click again O snap click this end point and enter a radius of 0.77 units press enter okay so here we have the arc but it's not touching this point so next we are going to make it similar to the drawing on the right side of this okay for that let's go to parametric tools and uh, select this fix constraint here we are going to apply some constraints on this drawing to touch this line tangentially on the circle which we have already made so first click on this using fix tool on that point somewhere near to that point then go to fix tool again and click on it and this time <coughs> select this line and make sure you click on the right end of that line now select the horizontal tool make it horizontal just as a precaution I'm applying all these constraints although you may not be requiring all these constraints now zoom it a little bit and use tangent because we want these lines to be tangent and first click on this circle and then on our arc Okay, let's do this again tangent click here and then click on this arc okay here we go so this line is tangent now if you want to check the radius go ahead select the radius constraint click here and there you go the radius is still 0.77 as you can see here okay now let's go ahead and make some of the other changes here the first thing is we need to make a line of length 1 units following this line so let's make a line of length 1 unit okay and let's delete this longer line okay now go to arc tool again start and radius click that point as the starting point now click somewhere over here you don't need to be precise again and enter a radius of 0.98 units as indicated in the drawing okay we're done and again repeat the process to join these two arcs so first I'll connect it using fix constraint so they are now fixed at the same point select tangent click this arc and then click on this okay so we have the tangents here now repeat the same process for this arc as well so go to start and radius now I'll click somewhere over here somewhere okay you don't need to need to be precise select this point as the second point 
and enter a radius of 1.94 units. Make sure you select the points as I am selecting. Okay, now I'll apply the fixed constraints and the tangent. So click on this and this. Okay, we are done now. All we have to do is just clean this drawing. So I'll use trim tool and I'll clean all the things which are not at all required. So I'll clean this, these lines, these arcs and this also. And I'll click on this portion also. Okay. I think I have removed all the unwanted lines up to this point and I'll delete everything that is no longer required. First delete the constraints. So delete constraints, select entire drawing and press enter. All the constraints are wiped out. Now click on these arcs and lines. This one is also not required and erase them. So let's remove this line also. Okay. Now go to join tool and join all these arcs and lines and click enter. Now I'll go ahead and mirror this. So go to mirror tool, select the segment, press enter and select these two points. Okay and press enter. And here we have our complete drawing. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.